USA took on Jamaica in the other semifinal of the Gold Cup, and USA got the result. They won three to one. In my opinion, the the result actually is actually pretty de- deceiving. It's not really telling the full story. I felt like Jamaica played really competitive in this match, but the quality of having Pulisic on your team was really uh, on display. And as well, two of the two of the goals for me, the ones that Pulisic actually made were really just goalie mistakes being just really bad position where someone would hit it and then he would just basically throw it back in the middle and Pulisic being the player that he is, being awake, being attentive, being in the right spot at the right time, just hitting it first time and just putting it in the back of the net like um, he had he had did for these goals and then McKenney also as well getting his goal. It was just enough for USA. They have more quality than Jamaica because of the certain type of players they have, but it was pretty competitive. There was a lot of physicality in the game. Uh, a lot of players that were pretty energetic in other games really didn't show out. I didn't see really Adriola be a difference maker in this game like he was in other games. His speed wasn't one thing to be taken into account because he was not beating those Jamaican players on speed. But that's just one thing. McKenney really uh, displayed really good in this game. His quality is really starting to show. I saw that he got his contract extension with Schalke 04 in the German league, and that's just good. That's a good progression for the American game, for the U.S. soccer as a whole. If U.S. soccer can get, like, I don't know, maybe half the team at least, maybe 10 players in uh, in Europe playing at, at least decent leagues, either Germany, France, Spain, England, whatever, even if it's second division, the quality there is still going to be there. And I feel like it's good enough and a progression for U.S. soccer because the more players they have in Europe playing in competitive leagues, playing in uh, top teams in those leagues, is just going to make the quality of USA soccer better and just have them more prepared for the World Cup and for the qualifiers as well because they, USA being the nation that they are, having the capital that they have, being – the world power they are in the world, they should not be missing out on World Cups. I know it's a it's a fluke and it just happened because of coincidence and things like that, but having all the money they have, having all the investment they invest into youth leagues and things like that, they should not be missing World Cups. They should not be losing Gold Cups. They should not be missing out on Confederation Cups. They should just, not saying that should be a world powerhouse, but like, like they are funded and basically really strategic and really dominant in some sports of the world i feel like soccer they've been laying back i know the passion is not as big as it is for baseball basketball football things like that those are basically american sports and that's what most kids here in america would like to grow up to be you know but it is changing the landscape is changing in america there is people that do want to play soccer, especially in uh, states where there's more European, Hispanic, African, I don't know, Asian maybe uh, culture that is more not dominant, but like there is a, a bigger scope than other states. They are becoming like soccer nations, not soccer nation, but soccer states. They do like soccer cities is a big thing where there's a lot of people that from different places or they're descendants of that but now they're americans and it just it's all helping the cause uh it is growing the sport in the states like i said i feel like usa is growing in a sort of way the game this game in my opinion it was kind of dull um the goals did come out pretty late in the game to solve the problem uh jamaica did get a goal back when they were just uh two down with the brilliance of leon bailey as well and she's another player that uh, also left his country just to pursue his dream. Um, I, I saw like a little documentary on him and he has quality. Like you can see the quality. That, and that's what like makes the difference in these games. For me, in my opinion, like I said before, I do prefer Je- uh, Josie's, Josie Altador to uh, Jazzy Zardes being the number nine just for experience and things of those purposes. But like in this game, he wasn't really clinical. He didn't really look like he had the upper hand on the Jamaican players. They looked better than he was. They did look more fit as well. And I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know if the USA should bring back Bobby Wood or something like that. That's actually in Europe. But 
I feel like USA, that's what they're missing to be up there. They're just missing that number nine role. In other places, they have some pretty decent players. I like the identity that USA has now compared that they to what they had before where they were just trying to get basically any broad, any players that were playing abroad or that were born abroad, not in the United States, but were of uh, descendants of Americans or things like that, had American mom, American dad, grandpa, grandma, whatever, and they were just trying to make them play for USA. I think it's a better identity what they have now. They're mostly establishing the team around MLS players, and it's really making the team look better and having an identity. And it's looking like it's moving in a good way. The Jamaican team as well, they are also um, been growing these past few years. They've been in these instances. They've been in the final the past two Gold Cups. I know they lost to Mexico 2015, 2017. They lost to USA. But they're, they're, they're growing as a nation as well. Their quality in football is also being uh, tested. And I know they lost to USA here. And I feel like the, the result was in, in their favor. They did play pretty competitive. I know there was a delay because of weather. And that could have played an account on the game and the impact and just how players had to get their minds uh, back reinstated into the game after having that um, time that they were off. But, I mean, I feel like Jamaica's growing as a nation. They are getting better, but the quality of USA is uh, better. They have players, more players in Europe. They have other difference makers in MLS, big players that play in the league that are pretty influential on the national team as well. And the coach just, he's been good with molding everything. I know they're going to face Mexico in the final, and there's a lot of history in that. Probably going to do a video on that, just like a little preview, maybe a little history on that as well. They're, this is a really good game. It's going to be really hard. Um, I see Mexico not playing into this final or not being heavy favorites like they usually are. They are the favorites probably, but both of them are favorites, but like a, like, just just to be certain but like i don't see them coming into the final as good as i see usa but i don't know who knows what will happen this is all i gotta say